we now have somewhat of an embarrassment of riches in terms of anti-ALK drugs. One of the more recently FDA-approved drugs post crizotinib is brigatinib. And at this World Conference on Lung Cancer, we're getting an update on the ALTA study, which was two different doses, 90 and 180 milligrams of brigatinib given post-brigatinib. And we can see that the, the 90 milligram median progression-free survival has stayed about the same in about nine months. But we're now getting consistently very impressive activity with the 180 milligrams, and it's now over 16 months. We now have two completely independent studies, both showing between 15 and 16 months median progression-free survival. And if you put that into context, although it's a cross-trial comparison, two completely independent studies of electinib in the same setting have both had about eight or nine months. Now, electinib is now a first-line licensed drug because of the Alex data. And there is a first-line study of brigatinib versus crizotinib. And the question is, will that apparently better efficacy post crizotinib translate into even better efficacy when used in the first line. The entire data set to support that so far is about eight patients, but there the median progression-free survival of brigatinib in the first line setting is um, nearly 36 months. So I think there's a lot of promise there, and I think we're gonna see in the next few years a lot of shuffling in terms of what is our first choice of an ALK inhibitor based on efficacy, but also tolerability activity in the brain.